Several days ago, the body cam footage of the tragic killing of Tyree Nichols was finally released. And we're gonna be talking about some of the fallout from that reactions to it. I wanna be clear that at this point, we are not going to be playing the video. So if you clicked on this to see that, we're not gonna be doing that. Not to say that we don't ever, we do frequently show videos like this. But in this particular case, um, the family didn't seem to actually want that to be a thing that was constantly plastered on people's screens. And it's been available for several days. So I think there's a good chance you've probably already seen that. So to maintain our mental health in this particular case, we're going to be foregoing that. Um, but we have seen it and it was what we thought it was gonna be. Absolutely devastating lack of humanity on the part of uh, an entire group of police officers. Um, treating a person's body like that wasn't a human, like it wasn't a person deserving of any respect, not caring what happened to the person, not seeming to realize what could happen, which is the uh, needless death of Tyree Nichols. Coming out of it, we know the cops have already been now charged with crimes, fired from their jobs. And in fact, now the police department is going a little bit broader. They announced this weekend that they're going to be uh, disbanding the so-called Scorpion unit. Uh, so that was a group that had been put into effect a couple of years ago to combat crime. It's called the Scorpion Unit for two reasons. The first unit, the first reason is it's an acronym for Street Crimes Operations to Restore Peace in Our Neighborhoods. And the other is because they wanted to have something called Scorpion Unit because mm -hmm. they thought it sounded cool. I know that they they contorted words into a pattern where they fit for the acronym, but let's keep it real. When the cops do something like set up a Scorpion Unit, you know what they're doing, you know what life they wanna live, you know the respect they wanna have, they wanna feel like badasses. And I don't know, maybe considering how the Scorpion unit acted in its final days, maybe encouraging that sort of approach is not a good idea. Maybe thinking of yourselves as this like a deadly predator isn't the best way to go about it. Maybe like going back to the shield thing or the protecting and serving, that might be a better idea. In any event, it was a specialized squad of 40 officers formed back in 2021. Some residents, by the way, said in the wake of the killing of Tyree Nichols, they were shocked that it was in their area. One resident, Darnell Anderson, said, ain't too much crime going on around here. Everybody looks out for each other. They didn't feel that it was necessary. And it turns out there had been criticisms of the unit for some time long before the death of Tyree Nichols. Hunter Dempster is an organizer with Decarcerate Memphis, a group pushing for accountability in the criminal justice system. Said this weekend that his organization has long been warning about the Scorpion team. He said the unit's main mission had appeared to be conducting mass pullovers in poor neighborhoods that are home to many people of color. He described the officers in the unit as violent bullies and said many residents had also questioned why the unit often used unmarked vehicles, regular cars that you would never think were police and some said that they would very frequently use what seemed to be punitive violence against people who weren't giving them the proper respect. So it's going to be gone now. So I guess job done, everything's good. Francesca, what do you think? Yeah, the, the elite unit of a-holes. I mean, it's incredible that cops need you know a separate unit to operate with even less impunity, like the scorpion unit with a tough name like that. And you know, Really, you know, they they argue for their, you know, the creation of these kinds of units um, by saying, oh, there's gang activity. You know, there's lots of criminals, there's gang activity. And so what do they do? They create another gang. It, it is a state sanctioned gang that operates just like other gangs, right? They basically beat people up, they scare people in their neighborhoods, and they do it largely for sport. And honestly, that's what we saw in the brutal murder of Tyree Nichols was the sportsman like, I'm just doing this to do it. You're not doing anything wrong, you're not, you're not threatening my life. I'm with my boys just aggressing on a random civilian. Why? Because I've got a badge and I can. They are effective gangs. And so look, it happens in Memphis, happens here in Los Angeles with the, with the LA sheriffs um, who literally have gangs and little groups within them. And look, that is all part of what happens when you, there is no accountability. Interesting in this case, five black officers immediately fired a little bit of accountability. But this morning I'm learning there was a sixth, there was a white police officer involved. Hmm, yeah. The dude's been put on desk duty, he's not actually been fired yet even though he was involved in the brutalization of Tyree Nichols. 
Yeah, definitely something to to track. Um, and you know, I know as always in cases like this, some people are going to be like, "Well, why didn't they were, they were doing a special thing? They were trying to stop crime. It was just those five. It wasn't all 40." And sure, I have no idea what the other 35 were like. Maybe they were perfectly fine. Maybe if some of them had been there, they would have stopped it. Or maybe having more cops around is never going to stop violence like that because we don't really have many instances of actually seeing it. Body cam footage of a couple of people brutalizing someone and another cop throwing himself between the attacker and the victim. I know nope. not saying that that couldn't happen. I haven't seen it. And sure, they're perfectly fine cops. I had interacted with the cops a couple weeks ago and I had a perfectly fine interaction with them. Granted, you know, white male. So my odds are about as good as anyone's. But anyway, um, there are issues here and we're gonna be talking uh, about reform. Um, I know it didn't seem like setting up this sort of unit was a good idea. I would love to have other areas with their own whatever dangerous animal mascot group they have, maybe they could look into that. Um, but while while I said we're not gonna be showing the video and we're not going to be, um, th there was just one thing that I, I thought was worth mentioning out of it, uh, aside from you know the obvious needless evil brutality. Um, New York Times is a great breakdown of in the 13 minutes of video, the 71 different commands that were shouted at Tyree Nichols as he was being tased and pepper sprayed and beaten and knocked around. Explicitly contradictory, like telling him to do multiple things that are you can't do both. You're being hit, you're being told to do something. You're literally lying on your stomach and you're being beaten as if you're fighting back. You have someone tell you to do something and then another roided out cop runs up and tells you to do the opposite thing. Yes. And if you do that, then the one, the, the first, Officer is going to beat you, and if you don't, then the second officer is going to beat you. Or turns out uh, both will beat you. And so again, like you would think, maybe the next time you hear some white conservative say, "Just comply," like you could point out, like it's impossible. Also, he did to the extent that a human could, while being beaten and tased, and literally having the life beaten out of you. Um, it would be great if this sort of evidence. Would convince them that maybe that's not actually the solution to the problem they think it is. Um, but thus far, not. You know, personally, I have not seen the video, but I've I've read accounts of it described in detail, and this is one of those articles that does that. And look, I've seen enough. Look, I'm I'm on all kinds of TYT shows. You guys know I'm on Dr. Rashad Rishi's show, uh, and we watch a lot of videos, and it is the same thing. It is what I call they. The cops want you lifeless until you're one life less. That's actually how it plays out. And in this case, as is described in the article, as you can see in the video, right? It's two officers holding each of his arms while another says, put your hands up. How can he put his hands up when one officer is on one arm and one is on the other arm? Right? It, it, it is ri absolutely ridiculous and they do it almost as evidence to say they were giving orders. But who's in charge? Who of the six police officers that were on him were actually taking charge of the situation? No, yeah. it's not about de-escalation. It's not about keeping people safe. It is about it is about terrorizing a community. That's what yeah. this is about. It is about letting a community know you're the gang in charge and everyone else better be live in fear for this might happen to them. And and he was complying, so I am I have no I have no I have no patience for any of this. You know, maybe it's a bad apple. Maybe we're gonna, no 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 no. It is the effing system. How many videos like this do we need to see? The body cam didn't help. The body cam footage didn't help. Now we just see it. Yeah, they in knew plain they sight. knew that they were recording it. Of course, of knew they yeah. have a camera on their chest, and they thought, ah, let's still beat the beat this person to death. Let's let's do that. They just they keep doing it again. Not to say that we shouldn't have these things. Obviously, we should. Not to say that we should we shouldn't continue to innovate. We should. But but it is mind blowing how how much has no effect. Yeah, I don't know. I like to think that if I was being well, I like to think that I wouldn't do these things anyway. But I like to think that if I was being videotaped, I would maybe just back up a little bit. The person is just trying to lay in a ball. Maybe you could just pause for a second. They 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 can't do that. They can't do that. You know, like stereotypically in TV, they do training for cops where they have them with a gun 
and then like a bad guy will pop up and then like an innocent person will pop up and they're testing to see like if they have the discretion and not shoot the innocent person or whatever. They should have that but like for perceived slights. Like you should have to undergo a yes. gauntlet of people insulting you or not immediately complying in the exact way you want. And if you cannot keep your stuff together, get the hell out of there. Because clearly that is one of the main problems with cops.